We're at the Simplot Games with Olympic pole vaulter, gold medalist pole vaulter, Stacy Dragila. How you doing? I'm doing great, thanks. Great. It's good to have you at the Simplot Games. It's great to be back. Yeah. <laughs> now, we understand you're coaching a team now at the Simplot Games. Can you tell us about that? I am. Um, I started a club last year. It's called Altius Track Crew, and I live down in San Diego now. My husband, Ian Waltz, is still pursuing his Olympic quest for London in 2012, and the Olympic Training Center has allowed me to have my club on the premises at the Olympic Training Center, so it's an awesome opportunity for That's my great. high school kids to, to be inspired by the Olympians, and then um, the athletes come over and encourage my kids, so it's a win-win situation for my kids. And um, I brought up three pole vaulters this year. We were hoping to bring up a couple other ones, but we got a couple injuries last minute, and so I said stay home, get ready for season. Uh, but this is a great opener for most of my kids. Some of my kids are you know, ranked pretty high in the state, and yeah. so this is just a great opportunity for them to see a, a great collection of the kids from all over the U.S. Okay. So it's a good way to stay involved in the sport. So in 2000, tell us what happened. 2000 was an amazing year for me. I think it all kind of started back in 1999 when I had won the World Championships in Seville, Spain. Uh, it was the first time that I officially jumped 15 feet in a major competition, and I think that really got the ball rolling for me and my confidence up. And once we came back from the Seville World Championships, my coach and I sat down and wrote out our goals of, or for the coming year, and we pretty much stayed on, on track throughout the whole season. So it was not a huge surprise that I won that I won the Olympic trials, but then going into the Olympics was, was a whole different can of worms, the nerves and the anxiety of, of being in the Olympics and going somewhere you know that a kid only dreams of, and me being you know a small percentage of, of that, being able to be there on that floor or that competition stage was completely amazing for me. And, but I know that I you know, put in all the hard work and um, all I need to do is run down the runway and plant the pole and have a good vault and, and I would at least be in the top three, but to come out win, it was, it was an overwhelming experience because it happened so quick. You know, the women's pole vault developed very quickly and um, had great coaching, great support behind me, and it was just an amazing experience. And to stand on the podium at the end of the night and hold my medal and wave it to the crowd was, was just, a, just a flashback of the years preparing for the Olympics, and it was just a thank you to everybody for supporting us. It's got to be awesome to be the first woman to, to win that event, too. To it it was. I mean, it's something, you know, that will always be in the record books. It's something I can show my children. You know, now that I have a daughter, I think it's going to be really special to be able to, to show her. And, you know, who knows what, what she'll want to do and aspire to do. Both both her and her, me and my um, her dad are Olympians. And it um, doesn't mean that we're going to pressure her to do anything. We just want her to have fun. But obviously we have athletic backgrounds. Yeah, of course. And I'm hoping she'll be an athlete of some <laughs> <Yeah>. sort. <laughs> she'll probably play the flute and I'll have nothing. I won't know how, how to approach it at all. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. That's awesome. <laughs> so pole vaulting in the future. Do we see Stacy Drakila there? You know, I've been training a lot with my kids, and I, I do so many of the drills, and I'm still so much hands-on that there's days that I would really like to do it. So maybe next year I'd like to be a part of the exhibition. This year it was kind of just getting my club together and um, just learning how to be a coach and not the athlete and juggling a lot of things with the new baby. Um, so I'd definitely like to get back out there and, and try it again and awesome. maybe um, you know com compete at the Masters level, You know, just have a little bit of fun. But... Um, you know, get a pull back in my hand would be a lot of, a lot of fun. Yeah, well, great. Well, it's good to have you here at the Simlock Games. Come out and check us out.